bring your attention to the center of the forehead. Sit back straight. Three deep breath and bring your attention to the center of the forehead. It's the energy center. It's the control room. And very gently visualize a tiny point of light. Very gently. Like we apply the tilak. Visualize there is a tilak there. See it like a little star. And remind yourself this is who I am. I am this energy which is the master of this body. This is who I am. I am the creator. I am the creator. Feel this. The body is my costume. Feel the difference. I am the energy and I am wearing this body just like I am wearing a dress I am wearing this body I am playing many roles this is who I am creator of every thought, every feeling, every word and behavior. I am the creator. And gently say to yourself, I am a divine being. Say it within in your thoughts. I am a divine being. Purity is my personality. Flawless. Divine being. I am a peaceful being. Peace is my sanskar. It is my son's car. Always peaceful in every situation with everyone. It's my nature. Peace is my nature.
I am a loveful being radiating love and acceptance to all. I am a loveful being. I am love. radiating love and acceptance to every soul. It's my nature. It's who I am. Pure, powerful, peaceful, always happy, it's my personality, this is my nature. It is who I am. Independent of situations. Irrespective of others' behaviors. I am who I am. Pure powerful, peaceful, untouched, untouched by anything around me. Om Shanti. Everyone you meet here will say Om Shanti. And I'm sure by now you are saying Om Shanti. And it's not a new word. We've said Om Shanti, we've read Om Shanti, we've written Om Shanti. Now we have to live Om Shanti. Because Om Shanti means I am a peaceful soul. Om means Aham Atma, I the soul, Shanti, peace. So Om Shanti means I am a peaceful soul. So how is everybody feeling since last evening after you've reached here? Already peaceful. So we've come here to empower the self. How many feel already the vibration has shifted a little just after entering into the campus without having done anything much yet. Now this, everything is to be taken back. Everything has to be taken back. And which means, if a few people come together, take care of themselves and can create a campus wherein anyone who walks in feels empowered, now I have to go back and do this. I have to create a home, I have to create an office where anyone walks in and feels empowered. Ready? 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 Possible? Possible? Yes. Easy? Uh -huh. How do you know whether it's easy or difficult? 
it's probably the easiest thing to do. We've done a lot of difficult things and we've created miracles in the doing. We create miracles in the doing. So we thought, when I work on the doing, the being will automatically be taken care of. So if I achieve, I'll be happy. If I buy, I will be happy. If I have relationships, I will experience love. If people listen to me, I'm powerful. And so we worked hard on the doing. But after having done everything that we are doing, and much more we still are going to do after we return, we've come to the realization that doing is not creating the being, right? Can the doing create happiness and love and peace and power? No. So the first realization that we experience once we come here, it's two parts of our life, being, doing. Being, doing. And I'm not a human doing. I am, I am a human being. And every time we make a mistake, we say, understand, after all, I'm a human being. So we thought human being means galtyon ka putla, exactly. Human being means galtyon ka putla. Insan hai, galti to hoti rahege. And this morning, we understood how the being is, right? So what's the nature of the being? What is the nature of the being? Seven sanskars. What are the seven sanskars? Purity. You have to go in the order right. First sanskar is purity. Unless I'm pure, I cannot have peace, happiness, love, power, anything. Purity means the soul is clean, flawless. No negative thoughts, no waste thoughts, no critical judge. All that is a stain. All that is a stain. So first sanskar is purity. I am a pure soul. So the purpose of our life here is while doing everything that we are doing, we just take attention that this is white, which means no dark, flawless. Suppose I wear a white dress in the morning, five o'clock, can it remain this white up to 10 o'clock in the night? Can it? Can it? Can it? Okay, lot of answers. Yes, no, depends. Yes, it depends on what? Huh? Depends on? Depends on? Huh. Then it's okay. I thought depends on other people around you. Sometimes it does. You could be walking in the dining hall and you're like taking care of your white dress and someone's just eaten their rasam and chawal and coming. And they will just go, galti se, but it can just go like that. But even if that happens, so one is, I take care, but second is, even if because of someone else's behavior, aisa lag gaya. So what will we do immediately? What will we do immediately? We will first take a pause, of 20 seconds from whatever we were doing and we will clean that stain. Right? Right or wrong? Right. And so which means, if I take care, I can keep this white as white till 10 o'clock in the night? That is spirituality. That is spirituality. Simple. This is white. Now start in the morning as white and stay white till the end of the day. And what do I have to do for that? What do I have to do while doing everything that we're doing? Not sitting back like this and saying white. 
No, no. No. That is only that morning, one hour, forty-five minutes, that's all. After that, doing and doing and doing and doing and a lot of doing. But while doing everything that I'm doing, keep the being white, which means flawless, no dark. What do I have to do for that? Pause and check, one, what else? Hanji? Attention, okay. Charge, very good. What else? One word is missing. Aware, very good. Clean, huh? take care, very good. Hanji? Conscious about it. Hanji? Stay in a? Stay in a clean environment, no, no. <laughs> Again, the finger is not to go outside. The finger is not outside because the environment is not in? The environment is not in my control. Okay, take another example. Here is this glass full. Okay? No lid also. Now walk around the campus. Meet people, do your work, climb up, climb down, do everything and come back in the evening with glass full. So what's the priority? First of all, can I keep the glass like this and walk around, do everything and come back like this? Koi baat nahi, pehle possible hai ki nahi, wo bata do, difficult. <laughs> possible? 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 Yeah. Kya karna hai uske liye? Careful rehna hai. If there is a situation now, and I have an option, Either I take care of that or I take care of the glass. Which one will I take care of first? Why will I first take care of the glass? I should take care of the situation, right? Haan, bahut achhi baat hai. Usko underline karna. Agenda glass hai. Agenda means priority. How many of you played the Nimbu Chammach race in school? So, what happened in the Nimbu Chammach race was, the priority was that the Nimbu has to be on the spoon. If I reach the finishing line and I am first in the line, but the lemon dropped on the way, do I win? So the priority was the lemon not coming first in the race. That is priority. Where is the lemon? Where is the lemon? Where is the glass? Today what we are doing, we drop the lemon first thing in the morning only. And then we are running throughout the day. I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to. But if the first thing in the morning I wake up, the, oh, oh, late ho gaya, ab kya hoga? Lemon gaya. Phir bachchon ko uthaya, unko danta, phir se lemon gaya. And then too it's never ending. Because once I do that, the glass is not my priority. The white is not my priority. Only what is my priority? Doing. So if I can take part in the lemon spoon race, and I know that the priority is the lemon, can I keep the lemon there and still win the race? Can I keep the lemon there and still win the race? Can I reach the finishing line with the lemon there? Only then I am a winner, otherwise I am disqualified. So that's all that is meditation. That is meditation. Do everything that you have to do. Do much more than what you are doing right now. But very clear. I win this game of life only if the lemon is there on the spoon. Otherwise, it's only stress and anger and anxiety and hatred and now depression and then the long list. And all that long list is only because I did not prioritize, I did not know what was the priority of my life because no one taught me. Because they only taught me in school, to me exam, do, padho, first aja, life will be perfect. 
and I was awarded and I was endorsed and I was appreciated and I was applauded because I performed. Whether it was performance in academic, performance in sports, performance in whatever we did. So we've kind of created a culture which is a very performance oriented culture. So if you have a child who comes first in class without fail, always first, but is egoistic, is aggressive, doesn't share, doesn't care, doesn't matter. Everybody calls that child successful. Bahut achha bachcha hai, bahut achha bachcha hai, bahut achha bachcha hai. The child is awarded, appreciated, applauded, everything. And the child is given a label successful. And a core bachcha hai, did not do academically well, probably failed in class academically, but is very caring, very kind. Humility is his sanskar. Sharing and caring comes natural to him. But what do we label that child? What do we label that child? Kya label lagate usko? So we give him the label of failure. That is where society did not teach us that it was the lemon on the spoon which was the priority. Society just said, run and reach the line there and you're the winner. And we ran and we ran and we ran and we're still running. And we thought, I'm running so hard, I'm working so hard, instead of being happier day by day, why am I becoming more and more stressed day by day? Because the game was not about reaching the line, the game was about reaching the line with the lemon on the spoon. So over a period of time we have created a society which is performance based. So all magazines, all covers, everything is who achieved. Doesn't matter how they achieved, they achieved. So achievement is getting appreciated and so everybody only wants to be an achiever a performer. If I work hard on one aspect of my life, I will definitely excel. Wherever we put effort, we will get result. But while doing that, I did not take care of the other aspect of my life. And then now that aspect is not allowing me to enjoy what I have achieved. Otherwise, with having everything that I wanted, why would I be using words as stress and fear and worry and all that word? Because my achievement was not going to get me the feelings. So we mixed the two things. We thought if I do and I achieve, automatically the being will be. So it's like two gardens. This is my house, this is a garden in the front, this is a garden at the back. The garden in the front is all my achievements, my roles, my relationships, everything. Now the garden in the front is what everybody can see. So everybody walking past, very beautiful garden, very beautiful garden, very beautiful. Nobody can see the garden at the back. And nobody's going to appreciate it, they can't even see, they don't even look, they're not even interested. But the, what I did was, I also stopped looking at the garden at the back, because wherever everybody was appreciating, I only put effort on that. Because the more something flourished over there, the more appreciation I got over there. So all my attention went to the garden in the front. The garden in the front is the doing. And the garden at the back is the being, the sanskar. The sanskar. And then I thought if the garden in the front flourishes, the garden at the back will automatically be beautiful. And I did not spend time going in the garden at the back. Even if someone in my office told me, you know what, you can meditate, you say, I don't have time. Because my garden in the front is a never-ending journey, it was even 24 hours worth less for me. Because there's no limit to achieving more and more and more and more. So we were ready to even sacrifice our sleep to beautify our garden in the front. And we were not going back. And the garden at the back started growing weeds and we could see those weeds and yet we did not pause to go into the garden at the back. And now, we've taken out these three days to take a pause to go into the garden at the back. Do you think the garden at the back is important or no? Yes? Yes. That is a garden of my thoughts, my feelings, 
my emotions, my sanskars, my karma. Now, the connection between the two, we have to be very clear. This is who I am, this is what I do. So the garden in the front is the doing, the garden at the back is the being. The garden in the front gets all the appreciation from the world, the garden in the back only I know what I am. No one knows who I am, only I know. People can only see how I speak, how I smile, nobody can see how I think. That only we know. So we know what is the state of the garden at the back. What do you think the state is? Sorted, beautiful, clean, flawless, very beautiful. But beach, beach, mein thoda, thoda, thoda. if it was not beautiful, you wouldn't have even chosen to come here. You wouldn't have even chosen to come here because you wouldn't have prioritized it. Taking out four days in today's time is not a small thing. So you should even thank your karma for this. You should thank your own sanskar and karma that I prioritized myself in a world where people say, Marne ki ba time nahi hai. To maine char din nikala. Did nobody say to you, kya karne ja rahe ho bhai udar? Kisi ne bola ya nahi bola? Bola? Kis kis ko bola? Acha logo ne bola? Kisi ne ye to nahi bola, ye koi umr hai? <laughs> Acha ye bhi bola, ye koi umr hai. Ta aapne kya bola? Acha, very good. Abhi nahi to kabhi nahi karenge. Haan. In our last year's retreat, one brother came, he was around 40, I think. And he applied for the holiday for coming for the retreat. So his CEO said, Ye bhi koi umra hai, aise jane ki. So he said, Sir, mujhe lagta hai, already late ho. He said, Acha jau fir. <laughs> That's how he got his chutti for his answer. Gone is that era where we thought, this is only after 60. 70. What is the age now to go into the garden at the back? Right now? What's the age to go into the garden at the back? 20. Hanji? Hanji? As early, but kitna early? As early can be 50, can be 40, can be 30. What do you think is the right age to start taking care of the garden at the back? Why I'm sharing this? Because we've come at this age. But you have the power to take your children right from the beginning. That's why. So start taking them into the garden at the back right from now. So that, so that they don't have to grow all the weeds and then go and pull them out. They create a beautiful garden at the back right from the beginning. So when you take out time for yourself to nourish the garden at the back, which means my sanskar, the first people who benefit are your children. And this current times that we are going through, the most important gift you can give a child is this. Because everything that money can buy, we've already given them. We've already given them everything that money can buy. But what we are seeing today in children is emotional weakness. And post-COVID that has increased. Why it increased post-COVID? Because for two years, millions of people on the planet created fear and anxiety. Like we enter into this campus and we immediately feeling nice. It's a vibration no? created over a period of years. But what happens when billions of people for two years say fear is normal, anxiety is normal, stress is normal, and they create that, not in pockets, but all over the planet then suddenly the vibration of the planet dips. And that is what has happened in these two years. And so post-COVID, we meet a lot of children who say, both anxious, both anxious, both anxiety, without even knowing what the word means actually. They don't have any mental health issue, but just not at ease, not comfortable. Now this is not something that we can buy and give them. This is not something we can buy and give them. So how do we give power to our children? Or to anyone? To anyone. How do we give power to people? How do we give power to people? It's not even by speaking. 
even in the corporate sector that era of motivation is over where you can speak and motivate people with nice presentations because they will listen and they will say ha huh, but mujhse nahi ho raha abhi that's it it's like if somebody is experiencing fear everyone sit around that person and say daro mat daro mat daro mat he'll say ha huh, aap right bol rahe ho but mujhe dar lag raha hai what do you do क्या करेंगे आप इवन इफ आई कैन सी यू के यू आर फियरलेस यू आर लीडिंग बाई एग्जाम्पल आई कैन सी यू यूर फियरलेस तो मुझे और ही कॉम्प्लेक्स आ जाता है इनको तो डर नहीं लग रहा मेरे को ही क्यों डर लग रहा है सो द ओनली वे नाउ इज बींग दैट पावर बींग दैट पावर एंड वॉट यू आर is automatically radiating from you to other people people will start feeling better in your presence and they won't even come to know you don't have to ask them are you feeling better after meeting me it's a very subtle power it's a very subtle power it creates a shift in people today at home when people are feeling low they prefer to be alone have you felt that people feel like being alone they say leave me alone leave me alone we said are why should i leave you alone whether it's my spouse or my child or a sibling anybody so leave me alone leave me alone and they would want to go into their room close the door but why should they be alone i want to be with them but they don't want to be with us why they don't want to be with us because they are in pain so their vibration has just dipped due to whatever reason but seeing them in pain what happens to us seeing them in pain we are also in pain whether it's worry whether it's fear we create pain so now they are in pain and seeing them i am also in pain and so when i go and sit near them what will happen when i go and sit now you go and sit with them in their room and you say i want to sit with you i want to be with you but i am in pain and they are already in pain so what happens when i go and sit with them my pain adds to their pain and right now they don't have the strength to handle any more pain so they say just leave me alone i will be fine in some time and i will come out which means we are not even being able to play the role of a family and friend anymore because family and friend means to be there to support and to empower when in need and that's why in many families even if a member is going through a crisis they don't even tell their spouse they say I don't chinta nahi dene inko mujhe but what if the opposite had to happen that they are in pain but you are very stable and powerful then they will want to come and sit with you and you will say can i do something for you will you want to share what is happening they'll say no I'll manage. I'll solve my problem. I just want to sit with you for five, ten minutes, and I will go. They're only coming for what? That strength. Everybody has to solve their own problems. Even if your child is getting bullied in school, he has to solve his own problem over there. You can't go into the school and do anything. But we need to be that source of power. it's like a battery se battery ko connect kar do charge ho jaye now they'll go and solve their problem but if they are feeling low and we are also feeling low then they get depleted and that is what is happening to the children today so when we focus on our sanskars our emotional health the first people who benefit are everybody in our energy circle and then the circle gets bigger so it starts with me then my family and then of course it radiates to my workplace so it is one fitness which you can gift to others just by being fit yourself physical fitness we can't gift others we can just keep telling them i'm going to the gym why don't you come i'm doing yoga why don't you do i'm going for a walk why don't you come but they can only see me getting fitter now it's their choice when they do it but spiritual fitness which will convert into emotional fitness which will prevent a mental health issue is what can radiate from us to everybody so when we take out 3 days for ourselves 
it is an investment by which you have no idea how many people are going to benefit and in a very subtle manner it's just in the air so I'm also contributing to raising the vibration of the planet we are even when you sit two minutes in silence and just create this thought I'm a peaceful soul you are radiating vibration of peace into the air it is shifting the vibration of the planet and when I'm sitting for five minutes and saying hey, kya hua? Aise kya hua? how could they do this, why did they do this, they should not have done this, this and I create my stress I am lowering the vibration of the planet I am so don't you think it's a beautiful way to contribute to creating peace in the world just take care of ourselves not just sit in front of the TV and say dunya ko kya ho gaya hai, dunya ko kaun thik karega dunya ko kaun thik karega is dunya ko kaun thik karega kaun thik karega kaun thik karega is dunya ko kaun thik karega thik matlab Parivartan, transform. Actually, thik is a wrong word because you don't have to do karna, repair, nahi karna, transform. Karna. Kaan karega? Who all are volunteering to transform the world? Uthalo, uthalo, it's going live on television. <laughs> yes. Aapka photo aa gaya, aapko pata hi nahi, aa chuka, it's already there, aapke office walo ne dekh liya, aapke ghar walo ne dekh liya. It's so simple. Seva bhav is our innate personality, we like, we feel so helpless seeing somebody in pain, somebody going through turmoil, say what can I do for this person? But sometimes it's a situation where you can't do anything because it's not in the doing. Everything is not in the doing. I can't do anything for that person, but it has to be in the being. So this is one investment where I invest and return goes not just to me, but it goes to multiple, to so many people. And most important, the return goes into the vibration of the planet. Now, if I do a karma which benefits many, then what will be the consequence of that karma? then you get blessings from unknown people, you don't even know. And blessing means, if I have done a karma which has made someone comfortable here, then the consequence of that is, I will be comfortable. So you take a little care of yourself, you radiate a higher vibrational energy into the world, you get a multifold consequence of that, and you start feeling even better than what you were feeling. And so building up this spiritual fitness is the easiest thing to do because its ripple effect is multifold. Multifold. So priority is the priority is the not that line where I have to reach as a winner. Priority is priority is here. Can we do this now from today? We have to do it for the next three days so that by Monday. See, one thing you remember, this retreat is not for three days. This retreat is meant to be for... It's not that we come here, feel peaceful and Monday go back and by the time we reach the airport and the station, we'll say, oh, why thikta ye sabe, thodi hota hai, that flight hai leto do ghanta. How can I be peaceful? It's not that. It is not a meditation retreat for feeling peaceful. It is a retreat for connecting back to your sanskar of peace and then going back into the world where many things around us are not the way we want them to be. Because sanskar means sanskar. It's my nature. Like somebody has a sanskar of helping and they can see somebody is exploiting them, still they will continue helping. And the other person says, can't you see? Can't you see what they are doing? You are still helping. So what do we say? Kya karo ye to meri? nature hai. I help what they do with that is their sanskar. Helping is my nature. So this morning we have got introduced to our nature. What is our nature? Purity, peaceful, powerful, happy, loveful, wise. 
So IT professionals, we don't go online for all answers. Where do we go? We go inside for answers. So meditation helps us to tap into our intuition. Wisdom. Wisdom. And last, blissful. Blissful. So first change, first homework from today, call only these seven as your nature. And never call any uncomfortable habit as a merry nature hai. No. So merry nature means like this white dress and all those uncomfortable sanskars are the stain on that white dress but they are not the color of my dress, they are just a stain. So don't call it mine. Jisko bhi hum mera mera kehte hai, wo baith jata hai humare saath. Hai na? Aap kisi ko kaho, aap to mere ho, aap to mere ho, kabhi nahi jayega aapko chhod ke. To kisi bhi uncomfortable sanskar ko kabhi mera nahi kehna hai. Mera kya hai siraf? Shanti, pavitrita, pyaar, sukh, shakti, gyan or anand. And that is why humne bachpan se suna hai sato guni atma. The soul is made of seven qualities, seven sanskars. And in spite of knowing that, we created a world where we said stress is normal and all uncomfortable emotions called as normal. So from today, first homework, never call an uncomfortable feeling my nature. Mine is only seven or all the other colors which come out of the seven. So these are the seven primary and then all our qualities, our sanskars come out of that, whether it's compassion, acceptance, empathy, gratitude, letting go, forgiveness, it will come out of these seven. So these seven will be primary and those will be our secondary colors but they will all come out of these seven. You cannot be compassionate if you are not loveful. You cannot. You cannot forgive if you are not powerful. So they are all connected. So the whole list of qualities is actually this seven. So who am I is only this seven. So what do we do in meditation is first step, pick up only one for the day. And anyways, all seven are connected. If I'm pure, I'm peaceful. If I'm peaceful, I'm loveful. If I'm loveful, I'm happy. They're all connected. So the homework is not too big. It's only one thing. So pick one for the day, today evening when you meditate or tomorrow morning. And of course, there will be someone guiding us with commentary tomorrow morning. It's, in fact, it's Suraj by tomorrow morning. Very beautifully, he will conduct with meditation commentary. But when we are back home also, take one for the day. And then the first step of meditation is, I am, fill in the blank, the sanskar you're taking for the day. So if I take the sanskar as, I am a pure soul. Now just create that thought, create the visual and just hold on to it. That is the first step. We saw this morning, Atma, soul means three functions, mind, intellect, Sanskar. Mind will create a thought, intellect will see the visual of that thought and Sanskar meaning the experience gets recorded. Mind, intellect, Sanskar. So what is meditation? To take all three together. So for example, right now create a thought home. Home. And now see the visual see your house. So the mind is creating the thought home and the buddhi, the intellect, the power of visualization, it can see the home, see the house very clearly. The main door, the color, open and walk in. Look at the furniture, complete clarity. You're exercising your power to visualize. People at home, it's a Friday morning. Who would be at home at this time? What would they be doing? See them, not think, see them. Go up to them, share with them what you have experienced here.
go into the kitchen, see what's cooking for lunch today, see it, smell it, open the fridge, lots of fresh fruits there, pick an orange, close the fridge, come back to your most comfortable chair, see all this, Peel the orange, start eating. Close the door and back into the hall. Okay, Ji. How many could see the house? So, clear? So that means we all have visualization power. So first faculty, create a thought. Home. Second faculty, intellect, see the house. And third is experience the sanskar. How many of you could see people, family? Dikha? Kya kar rahe the wo? Breakfast kar rahe the? Achha. Hanji? Hanji? Achha, fry. Oh yeah, today's holiday. Haan, right. Okay. Hanji? Achha, padosi se baat kar rahe the? Wow. You saw the pigeons also in your balcony, see? Achha, you feed them also regularly. And how many of you had the orange? You had chiku, good. Anyone experienced the orange? Haan, wo juice, aya kisi ko, kis ko aya ho? Ho gaya na meditation, that is all that is needed. This is meditation. Now the only thing is, right now we meditated on the house and on the orange and Raj Yoga means we meditate on we meditate on, on I the soul and then second step which we will learn tomorrow to connect to the Supreme Soul. Now I tasted the orange now I will experience my purity and peace and most important whatever we visualize and whatever we experience gets coded on the soul and that is what starts becoming my sanskar. So even if you take one quality and do that for like a few days, within a few days you will see that quality becoming real in your life. You will start experiencing, mera gussa kam ho gaya hai, mere ko tension kam ho rahe kya kiya maine aisa? Just that. I am a peaceful soul, hold on to that, visualize that star, and start experiencing peace. It's very simple. Very simple. But results, something which we had not imagined would be possible. We used to say, this sanskar is in my gene, I got it from my family, this is my zodiac sign, I am like this. No, I am not like that. I am only these seven sanskars. So do we want these seven sanskars in action? Not in theory, in action, yes? Sure? Not sure? But yes. you want to be peaceful always? Calm ho jayenge sare? Karke dekhna hai. Gusse se itna kaam kar liya. And yet we created miracles. Imagine what we will create when we work with peace and power, what miracle will get created. And most important, we will create a country and a world which does not just talk about figures, which does not talk just about performances,
but we will create a happy, healthy, loveful world where people are united, they are respectful. That's the world that we need. We don't need a world only where everything is perfect outside in the doing and inside seems to be just crumpling completely. That will never be allow us to be happy. Sab kuch paane ke baad bhi khushi nahi. So seven sanskars. Now, today we are going to choose any one of our sanskar which we want to finish. Because we're going to empower ourselves, no? we're going to raise our vibrations. So choose and write in your diary. You're not sharing it with anybody. It's just for you. Ek dusre se nahi puchna. Normally we ask the other person, what do you think? What, what do you think I should finish in myself? <laughs> I'll tell you what you have to finish, you tell me what I have to finish. We spend a lot of time seeing other people, so it's always easier. But here we are to see ourselves. Very detached, check. Which sanskar I want to change in myself? Habit naya sanskar. Habit is in the doing. Matlab eating, drinking, sleeping, exercising, all this is doing, that is habit. Sanskar is here. It's an emotional sun, in pattern. It's a pattern of my way of thinking and being. For example, getting stressed is a sanskar, getting hurt is a sanskar, jealousy is a sanskar. Being critical and judgmental about people is a sanskar. Not being able to let go of what has happened is a sanskar. Holding on to things is a sanskar. Getting affected by what people say about me is a sanskar. Wanting to please people is also a sanskar. Insecurities, big one. Dominating is also a sanskar. Controlling is also a sanskar. It's a long list, but don't worry. This list is only different words, nothing else. Otherwise, that list seems so long, so we think this is the end. They are only just words. But we need to just select one. Mil gaya sabko? Mil gaya. Now, out of those seven, Write the counter, which one you need for that sanskar. So which means for anger it would be peace. If I get hurt or something, then it's I'm loveful. So whichever sanskar you've written, choose the counter out of these three for that, out of these seven for that. And if you can't, then just shout out your sanskar and we'll see which of the seven fits there. Because we've been saying, I don't want to be this, I don't want to be this. Now we're not going to talk the negative word. Today is the last time I've spoken that negative word. Now I'm going to take the counter of that and make that my thought process. Everyone found which one out of the seven fits there? Anybody who's not Hanji Bulye? Thoda sa jursi. Overthinking, I am powerful being. Ji? Worry? Worry, bula? Worry, I'm always happy. Happy, you know? Ego is purity. Hanji? Not contentment, purity. Because purity means complete, perfect. And that is what is contentment. Soul power, battery full. Contentment. Not happy, complete, perfect, purity, contentment. I can be happy, but not contented. Happy is like right now I'm happy, but contented means no desires. No desire. Achieving, working, setting goals, doing a lot, but not desire. It's not desire driven. How would life be if we had no desires? Happy. 
हाँ जी इट विल बी डन हाँ डू यू वॉन्ट टू लीड अ लाइफ विच इज़ नो डिज़ायर नो सी इट्स बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू लीड दैट्स वाई वी आर नॉट फिनिशिंग आर डिज़ायर्स देर आर टू वेज ऑफ लिविंग लाइफ वन इज लाइक दिस आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट चाहिए 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 कि लिस्ट खत्म ही नहीं होती है एंड वन इज आई एम कंटेंटेड एंड आई एम ह्योर इन दिस वर्ल्ड ओनली टू गिव कौन सा वाला जीना very sweet that's not called a desire to give it's an intention to give i have an intention to be a giver so which one is a better energy sure but i will be able to be a giver only if i finish all my chahiye chahiye ke list it is easy to give in the doing we're not talking about giving in the doing i can give you this i can give you this i can give you wo to easy hai we all do that we're talking of giving in the being but for giving in the being the being has to be like if i want to donate wealth i need to have money now you ask me to donate wealth i'll say mere paas hi nahi hai to how am i supposed to give so i can only give that what i have so if i want to contribute with money i will have to have money first if i want to contribute with education i need to have studied that if i want to donate blood then so whatever i need to give i have that intention i want to give i need to have that first so to being a giver means to give love give respect give power the more you energize yourself you become a giver and if i am not a giver if you see our own life right now we are leading like this i want peace i want love i want happiness i want power everything is chahiye 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 so our whole long list of chahiye the desire is actually for these seven things if someone asks you why you working so hard oh uh, i want happiness for who for me and my family so you're working so hard because you want happiness yeah because i thought if i work hard i will achieve if i achieve i will buy if i buy everybody will be happy so the mool the root will always come to these seven qualities why are you in this relationship i want love everything is for these seven everything we are doing in life is for these seven but the beauty is that for these seven we have to do nothing we have to do nothing we have to create these seven and then do everything and while doing radiate this seven to everybody that is the shift that happens in life not do not achieve to be happy be happy and go to work can we do that be happy and go to work rather than go to work for happiness and then your life becomes seva your life is seva even if you're nurturing your children you're taking care of them it's a seva it's a seva consciousness seva is not 2 hours of seva 4 hours of seva seva is a consciousness that my life is seva seva and so if you're taking care of your family that is also seva if you're going to work that is also seva you will earn money it's not charity but you're going with the consciousness of being a giver what is the difference between the consciousness of a seva and a consciousness of ownership what's the difference hum sab ne seva ki hai kabhi na kabhi hai na so we go to the temple we go to the gurdwara we go to ashram and we do seva right so you will see in the gurdwara people will come in their big cars they will park their car outside and they will come into the gurdwara and they will be there near the shoe rack and they will pick up everyone's chappal and shoes with all humility they have come there for seva they will do anything for seva they will pick up chappals they will scrub the floors they will clean the utensils they will do everything and now come home and somebody will say meri chappal lana jara क्या बोलेंगे अपने आप ले लो क्यों भाई आप अपनी चप्पल खुद नहीं उठा सकते सो कहेंगे दे दो ना एक मिनट तो मैं क्यों दूँ 
से अभी तो आप सब अननोन लोगों की चप्पल उठा रहे थे सो वट विल बी द आंसर वो हम सेवा कर रहे थे सो देर आई एम ऑन सेवा एंड वेन आई कम होम आई एम विद माई ईगो दैट इज बट देन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स कैन आई बी फॉर सेवा लाइक दैट वन आवर हाफ एन आवर एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द डे रेस्ट ऑफ द डे आई एम इन माई ईगो कॉन्शियसनेस सो मेडिटेशन मीन्स वेन आई इंक्रीज सोल पावर एवरीथिंग आई डू इज सेवा एंड सेवा मीन्स एक्सपेक्टेशंस अपने आप खत्म होंगे यू डोंट हैव टू फिनिश दैम डिजायर फिनिश करनी नहीं पड़ेगी डिजायर बिकॉज आप इसको भरते जाओगे तो ये खत्म होता जाएगा ये बनते जाओगे इट इज अपने आप होता है ये सारा कुछ अपने आप कंटेंटमेंट आएगी बट आई ओनली हैव टू स्टार्ट स्पेंडिंग सम टाइम गोइंग इन टू द गार्डन एट द बैक राइट सो टूडे फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट मॉर्निंग आई नीड टू टेक वन फंडामेंटल डिसीशन that this empowerment cannot happen in 3 days this empowerment cannot happen in 3 days 3 days is for me to get a taste of what is empowered life i need to taste it after that i will need to go and earn it how many of you were in school when maggi was launched how many of you got free packet we got free packets in school so what did they do they came and gave us free packet for the rest of our life we are still eating maggi but how did they start they gave the first packet free so that is your this 3 day experience free empowerment you've tasted it now the same thing if we come to your city conduct a workshop and say high vibrations purity ah uh, uh, but how to do because there we don't have that free sample to give it to you so when you take out these 3 days it is for that for coming into a campus where there's non stop doing happening where in this campus i think 150 brothers are living when you go to the other campus which we will see on the last day when we going back home there would be i think about total in these three campuses there are about 2000 brothers now they are all youth they are all young and they live together 365 days 24 by 7 they are not family they are not family they come from completely culturally different backgrounds somebody could be like fifth standard pass and the other one could be a phd there is no hierarchy there is no salary there is absolutely no incentive in the doing anything which you can call an incentive is not there and yet if we can experience this vibration then creating it at home and work is very very easy very very easy people think oh wo to ashram hai wahan kya badi baat hai i would say aake reh kar dikha do thode din sirf reh kar dikha do living at home is very very simple very simple when it can be compared to living like this imagine living in a room sharing a room with 10 people they are not even family and 365 days of the year at home what happens we leave in the morning we come back in the night so half the day we are at home half the day we are outside lockdown suddenly we are at home and see what happened 40% divorce rate increased in india so what was locked down for two months for us that we were just within one premise that is a permanent lockdown here for everybody living here permanent in that premise 24 by 7 with the people who are not your family and who can be completely different and it does not mean everybody has same sanskars everybody has all sorts of sanskars we've not come here perfect we've come here to become and yet there is this vibration why why only one thing they have only prioritized the nimbu on the spoon and so you are invited here for 3 days that leave aside all the theory and see the practical that it works and it's possible and if 150 people can live in a campus and do it and we are only 4 or 5 at home can the house not have such vibrations 
हो सकता है नहीं हो सकता हो सकता है नहीं हो सकता बट देर इज ओनली वन थिंग दैट एवरी वन लिविंग योर हैज अ कॉन्शियसनेस आई एम ऑन सेवा दैट्स ऑल एंड इट डजेंट इट डजेंट इट डजेंट मीन दैट डिफरेंस ऑफ ओपिनियन डजेंट हैपन इट डजेंट मीन के संस्कार स्वभाव की टक्कर नहीं होती है इट डजेंट मीन के गुस्सा नहीं आता है सब कुछ होता है बट इट इज़ लाइक आई गॉट फटैक से एक सेकेंड में ख़त्म करना नो चेंज बैक बिकॉज कॉन्शियसनेस इज आई एम ऑन सेवा सो सेवा इज अ वेरी पावरफुल कॉन्शियसनेस इट्स अ वेरी पावरफुल कॉन्शियसनेस एंड दैट इज वाई सेवा वुल मेक अस अ गिवर and if we see the pictures of the deities their hands are like this right and the aura is white so there's a white light circle which is a simple thing that if you are a giver your energy field is the highest your energy field is the highest so empowerment means i shift my vibration from where it is now to take it to my highest potential of being blissful being complete being pure and that happens when i shift from chahiye 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 to becoming a giver and chahiye is not just physical things chahiye could be approval chahiye acceptance chahiye appreciation chahiye log bole hum acche hain wo chahiye chahiye get subtle but day by day subtle subtle hota jata hai so that is empowerment do you want to aim to become your perfect self Do you want to aim because goal rakhna to padega? Do you want to aim or it's? Yeah. And do you think when I aim to reach perfection in who I am, then will my doing get affected? When I work on my garden at the back, will my garden in the front front get neglected? G? so then look back again the being the garden at the back the doing the garden in the front i worked hard on the garden in the front the garden at the back got neglected now i work 23 hours on the garden in the front and i keep about half an hour 45 minutes for the garden at the back so garden in the front also taken care of garden at the back also taken care of but when i take care of the garden at the back what happens to my garden in the front so do you think my doing will get better when i work on the being sure of that yes because look at yourself going to work with family a calmer self lesser desires so lesser ex- expectations even if something someone doesn't do your way ek second mein acha chalo okay come i'll be with you we'll do it work will go to a level which we had never even imagined that it can reach that level it never ever you will go beyond your capacity of a goal or an achievement which you had ever set for yourself because the law is it's a law and the spiritual law is sankalp se srishti banti hai srishti se sankalp nahi banta hai duniya mein hum opposite chal rahe the we were working on the srishti the doing and humne socha usse sankalp banenge srishti se sankalp nahi banta hai sankalp se srishti banti hai sanskar se sansar banta hai humne socha sansar se sanskar banega so when i create a shift in my sanskar it automatically creates a shift in my sansar so two years we created a shift in our sanskar we increased fear and anxiety the sansar got affected mental health issues increased relationship conflict increases children anxiety attacks increased because our sanskar shifted our sansar got affected and none of them had anything to do with covid the covid consequences we know that is separate and so if you see at home if you shift your sanskar to a little extra stress because of something that's happening in your life you believe suddenly your body will start showing signals yes sugar levels will change bp will change 
Suddenly, your relationships will have more conflict because your tolerance power will reduce, your irritability will increase. So, sanskar se sansar banta hai. It's a law. It is a spiritual law which is there in the heritage and the culture of India since thousands of years. Ke sanskar se sansar banta hai. So, when we create a shift in our sanskar, sansar will shift to a level which we had never thought it's going to happen. Your health, mental, physical health, your relationships, your workplace, your achievements and your environment, everything will shift because sanskar se sansar banta hai. I was at a retreat center in Australia, smaller place compared to this and there was just 50 people in a retreat and somebody had come just because his wife wanted to come and he sat right at the back. He refused to even make eye contact for two hours. Not interested. And then after that we gave prashad to everybody. He didn't come up to take that also. So then the sister told me, he's not coming to take prashad. Do you want to go and give him prashad? I said, chalo, chalte. We gave him prashad and he was like immediately, I'm sorry but I'm not interested in all this. I said, it's perfectly fine. Don't ask me. I was not, at, at least you've come, I was not even ready to go. So I was not interested at all. He's saying, but I must tell you something, that for the last two hours, which keeps telling us about our physical health. He said, for the last two hours, I've noticed one thing, that my pulse and my heartbeat has changed. I'm a more... I said, even though you're sitting out of majburi and waiting to go home and not interested at all, even then, just the vibration and just sitting there has brought a change which your body has already started showing you. He said, yeah, that I can tell you that there is something in this place because my body is showing me that signal. That is sanskar. That is vibration. And otherwise, out into the world, we'll say, BP hai, to abhi lifelong rahega, manage your blood pressure with your medicine. No. Why manage anything? It's happening from here. Change here and this will respond because this is the first thing which is closest to the soul. What is the first thing closest to the soul? The body. Shift here, automatically shift in the body. Automatic shift. Another somebody came last week to the center and they said he had had some difficult experience. He said, now when I even remember that experience, situation is over. He said, even when I remember that, my that fitness tracker shows me changes. Only a memory. That is how deep is the impact of the soul on the body. And we all the time create tension, itne sanskar, itne create karte hai. and then we say, why am I not healthy in spite of having the best food, the best exercise, the best gym, the best of everything, organic diet. Why am I not healthy? Because lifestyle is not just the doing. Life means atma, life. When this life leaves, it is a dead body. And so lifestyle means my way of thinking, feeling, intentions, my consciousness, my words, my behavior, that is lifestyle. Usko change karo, body will respond. Usko change karo, people will change. Any relationship where there's been a little heavy energy, where you're not getting the best energy from the other person to you, don't try and change the other person. Just shift in terms of what vibration you radiate to the other person. The other person won't know why they changed. They will not be able to figure out why they changed. Because sanskar se sansar banta hai. So when I change, my body experience is a shift. When I change, my people experience a shift. When I change, my work shifts. Do you think thoughts and feelings influence plants? Influence plants? Anybody ever experienced that? Yes. So if it can influence plants, it won't influence people? Do our thoughts and feelings influence our pets? So if it can influence plants, it can influence pets, it will not influence people? Who will get influenced faster? Plants or people? Plants or people? People. Because it is a soul-to-soul -soul influence. I was a sister at a program last week and she said, I live in Dubai, I came to India for two months and there was nobody to take care of my garden. 
And so when I returned after two months, it was all like Dubai weather. So it was all, and she said, I just sat there and first thing I said sorry to the plants. She said, I apologized. And I said, I'm sorry, I ignored you. What you're going through is because of me, I did that. And she said, I apologized, I gently, and then usko rose, and she said, within a week it was. If plants can change, people will change faster. Faster. But because when we see them what the way they are, and we create all the other thoughts of hurt, rejection, expectation, all this, then though that cycle is very, 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 very deep. So self-change doesn't mean self-change. Self-change means the world changes. So at this organization, we have a very beautiful slogan. When I change, my world changes. I only have to focus on I. I don't focus on the changing the world. And outside we are saying, when my world changes, then I will be happy. So it's just the equation that goes wrong. And we know if the equation goes wrong, then take how many of our supplements in the exam? Kitne number aane wale? First equation is wrong on the page. And I thought I'm working very hard. I took two extra supplements in my exam. First fundamental equation is wrong. So this is a school, a college, a university, call whatever. It's a study center and we study daily. And the aim and the goal of this study is to reach a perfect stage, to be number one in who I am. Like you set a goal of being number one in what you do, we set a goal of being number one in who I am, which means reaching a stage of complete purity, absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. Every dag hatana hai. And when we keep that aim and we start working on that, we're contributing to a very big picture. And that picture is that the world is going to go through a very big shift right now. That transition period has already started. And that transition is there is going to be a paradigm shift in the world. This world cannot continue the way the world is right now. It cannot. But to create that shift, that shift has to begin from us. So like it is morning, afternoon, evening, night. Subah, dopeher, sham, raat, or fir raat ke baad? Raat ke baad, fir subah. So time is cyclic. Time is cyclic. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Again, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Similarly, there is a bigger cycle. And that cycle is Satyuk, Treta Yug, Dwapar Yug, Kal Yug. The Golden Age, the Silver Age, the Copper Age, and the Iron Age. And is Samay Ham Ka Ponche? Now we've reached the extreme of Kal Yug. Jisko kehte hai, Ghor Kal Yug hai. Ghor Kal Yug hai. But, jab Ghor Kal Yug hai, to ab kya ana hai? Ab kya ana hai? It's like subah, dupahar, sham, raat, fir ghor ratri. Pitch dark, ghor ratri. Lekin ghor ratri ke baad kya ana hai? Subah ane hai. So that is the awakening, the dawn. Waking up. And those who will work on themselves right now are not just working on themselves, they are a part of creating a world change because the world is going through that paradigm shift. So how many of us want to contribute towards creating Satyuk? Pakka? 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 Or karna kya hai sirf? Kuch nahi. Hamare shahar mein koi hospital khul raha hota hai, hum uske liye charity de dete hai. Koi school khul raha hai, hum uske liye contribute kar dete hai. Srishti par Satyuk banna hai. Big project. Hanji. We only have to contribute by creating a little change here. But remembering that my change is not just my change, it is that change which is contributing towards the world going through a big shift. Otherwise, I'm contributing to the other side. So, ye do dunya hai. Kalyug, or Kalyug ban raha hai. Or is side pe Satyuk shuru ho raha hai. Now, I have a choice. If I create my normal stress and the list, I am 
on this side. And if I start creating a shift, I have shifted to this side. जैसे एक छोटी सी कहानी है कि कहीं आग लग रही थी जंगल में तो वो चिड़िया क्या करती थी समुद्र से एक पानी लाती थी ड्रॉप और फिर वो आग पे डालती थी फिर जाती थी एक ड्रॉप पानी लाती थी फिर उस आग पे डालती थी तो किसी ने कहा तेरे को क्या लगता है तेरे ये एक ड्रॉप पानी से ये आग बुझ जाएगी तो वो चिड़िया कहती है जब इतिहास लगा लिखा जाएगा तो मैं आग जलाने वाली साइड पर नहीं मैं आग बुझाने वाली साइड पर होंगी इसलिए मैं वो बूंद लेकर जाती हूँ सो दिस इज दैट टाइम या तो हम आग जला रहे होंगे बिकॉज ऑल आर वाइसिस आग बढ़ा रहे हैं ऑल आर वाइसिस ऑल द क्राइम दैट वी सी इन द वर्ल्ड विच इज फ्यू पीपल बट इट इज नॉट फ्यू पीपल हु इंडल्ज इन क्राइम इट इज द बिलियंस ऑफ पीपल क्रिएटिंग दैट वाइब्रेशन विच रिजल्ट इन फ्यू पीपल ब्रिंगिंग दैट वाइब्रेशन इन टू अ डूइंग so if i hear an incident of rape abuse it is not that one person's crime it is millions of people creating lustful thoughts radiating that lust into the air which then impacts a human mind to such an extent that they don't keep it just at the level of the mind it comes into their action if we see somebody creating terror in action it is because aggression is created in millions of minds so all of us are part of the crime all of us are part of the crime whether it is corruption then it is our greed whether it is lust whether it's ego whether it's war it is our terror so when i shift from my lust to purity when i shift from my aggression to peace when i shift from greed to contentment i am not just doing it for myself the world will shift so don't just sit back watch the world news and say aise kaise wo kar sakte hain aise kaise i am part of that तो या तो आग बुझाने वाली साइड पे बनो या आग लगा देर इज नो थर्ड साइड राइट नाउ देर इज नो न्यूट्रल प्लेस देर इज नो न्यूट्रल सो इफ आई कीप गोइंग लोअर इन माई वाइब्रेशन आई एम स्ट्रेंथनिंग कल्युग इफ आई स्टार्ट शिफ्टिंग माई वाइब्रेशन अप देर आई एम बिगनिंग द क्रिएशन ऑफ सत्युग सो वेन यू रिटर्न इफ समी से क्या करने गए थे तो बोलना स्वर्ग बनाने गए थे सृष्टि पर ज्वाइन करना है आपको ओपन ऑफर देना because there's no point saying con karega who's going to change the world and pointing fingers it is the scientific community is it the political community is it the religious community who is going to change the world con karne wala hai i i it has to be i and karna kitna easy hai sanskar che so first thing wo jo sanskar aaj likha hai uska opposite choose kar liya hai for the next 3 days you use that one as your meditation sanskar keep that as your sanskar and repeatedly every time khane se pehle pani se pehle sone se pehle just keep saying i am fill in the blank soul i'm a pure soul i'm a contented soul i'm a powerful soul just keep that like your background music it's a consciousness shift that is happening i am second homework to be empowered and raise your vibration the one shift that we need to create is stop blaming people and situations for how you are feeling don't say i'm feeling like this because of because that's not the truth I cannot feel anything because of somebody else. I only feel because I create that feeling. I am the creator. The situation is only a stimulus, but the creation is mine. The creation is mine. Nobody can upset me, nobody can irritate me, nobody can hurt me, nobody can insult me, nobody can enter into my space. this is the only space where no one else can enter they can just stand there be there and do what they want but i have a choice what i create in response to them so this is emotional independence so meditation and spirituality gives us emotional independence we don't live like a victim to the world and say bichara main duniya hi achhi nahi hai not like that I am the creator and that's why it's very important to remind ourselves every day I am the creator of my every thought feeling word and behavior even though it's very simple I know I am the creator yet we are always saying I'm feeling like this because of can anyone hurt me can anyone hurt me has anybody ever hurt you 
अच्छा नो एंड यस कैसे हो गया यस कैसे हो गया अच्छा दैट वॉज इन द पास्ट सो इन द पास दे कुड हर्ट मी बट नाउ दे कैन नॉट हर्ट मी नो इन द पास्ट ऑल्सो दे कुड नॉट हर्ट मी हाँ इट वॉज नॉट आर फॉल्ट इट इज आई बिलीव दे कुड हर्ट मी बट एक्चुअली दे वर नॉट हर्टिंग मी द थॉट्स दैट आई वॉज क्रिएटिंग इन रिस्पॉन्स टू वॉट दे हैड डन वॉज हर्टिंग मी सो आई थॉट दे वर हर्टिंग मी दे वर नॉट हर्टिंग मी सपोज समबडी सेज समथिंग डज समथिंग and it's wrong we're not saying what they're doing is correct but their their power is here their power is here but what i create here is my choice in response to what they have done so if i say why did they do this to me how could they do this to me however hard i work this is what i get in return nobody loves me nobody cares for me i am not wanted hurt but who created that hurt who created that hurt i so the hurt is the emotion that i create which is a result of the thoughts which i create in response to the situation so the hurt is not caused by the situation it is caused by my response to the situation and so when i practice this sankalp i am a powerful being i am a powerful being so i retain my power in every situation and when i keep saying i'm feeling like this because of them i'm actually becoming weaker and weaker and weaker because i'm saying anything and everything affects me even a person overtaking me on the wrong side has the power to irritate me we've lived our life that way and that's why we became weaker because we thought everybody is cause of what i'm feeling unknown people stranger watching a cricket match easy catch he dropped it i get angry watch karo but detached ho ke watch karo if i can't watch tv in a detached manner how will i live life in a detached manner and because we get attached they are using that weakness of ours and we are getting more and more and more we cry with them we get angry with them everything so all our senses are held like this and the more we become like that with media multifold we will become like that in our real life so first practice is to watch whatever you're watching in a detached manner it's only a drama it's only a match don't pick up something in your hand and throw it aise kaise kar sakta tha wo matlab how much aggression so we have this is little practice it's very easy it's just that all this was called normal and because it was called normal we allowed ourselves to create that detachment means the drama is there i have a choice how to think and within a few days what is going on in your house is also just a drama just a drama and your role in that drama is to radiate power your role in the drama is to send blessings and energize the people who are entangled in the drama that's our role that is nurturing that is palna that is parvarish strength in them but if i'm attached then i will get entangled in that drama because i thought they are like this so obviously so very important homework 3 days to be practiced here my thoughts and feeling is not dependent on situation even what you are experiencing here after coming here is not the peace of the place the vibration of the place is allowing you to experience your inner peace it's your if you did not have the sanskar of peace you will not feel peaceful even after coming here so it's your own innate sanskar which is triggered so atmanirbhar self reliant comes from the word atma atmanirbhar dependent only on myself so aaj se kaun si language finished and not for negative i'm feeling happy because of no 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 i don't feel happy because of anything why because i'm happy because if you're going to feel happy because of something then it is certain that you are going to be upset because of something because both are a dependency both are a dependency and a dependency is weakness so i am happy because of 
I'm happy because I'm always happy. So situations may be your way. This is a practice now from today. Even in this three days, something can happen which is not your way. Things can happen which is not your way. Look at the situation, solve the situation. Some situations have a solution, some situations don't have a solution. But take care, my mind is untouched by the situation. The limbu has to be on the chamach. The glass has to remain filled. So I will walk around, talk to everybody, meet, do everything, but remember my priority is you see, we gaon mein hum dekhte na the mother with two matkas here, two matkas in her hands, and her baby in the other arm, and they will walk on those very very narrow lanes. Two matkas here, two matkas here, and the baby in the arm. But come what may, she knows what the priority is. She knows what the priority is or no? She knows. To samne kuch obstacle aya. She knows who to hold first. She won't ever make a mistake कि मटके को पकड़ लिया बच्चे को गिरा दिया। अभी हंसी आ रही है ना? हम तो सारा दिन यही कर रहे हैं। हम सारा दिन यही कर रहे हैं। Slightest thing है ना हम यहाँ वाले बच्चे को गिरा देते हैं। Because हमने सोचा मटका ज़्यादा important है, बच्चा तो ठीक हो ही जाएगा। तो हम अपने मटकों को ही पकड़ के रखते हैं ऐसे। This should be fine, that should be fine, that. This is fine, जीवन में हजार मटके और आ जाएंगे। आप रोड पे जा रहे थे आपकी गाड़ी की किसी से टक्कर हो गई हाउ शुड वी रिस्पॉन्ड अभी तो टक्कर भी नहीं हुई फिर सिर्फ ठीक है तो टक्कर होगी तो क्या हो जाएगा फिर विजुअलाइज ना इट हैपेंस ऑन द रोड्स कभी टक्कर हो सकती है कभी बड़ी टक्कर हो सकती है कभी डेंट भी पड़ सकता है कभी तो पूरी गाड़ी खराब हो सकती है तो क्या करना चाहिए उस टाइम रह सकते हैं स्टेबल हाँ जी ऑफ कोर्स रह सकते हैं स्टेबल अगर गाड़ी को टक्कर लगे अभी तो सिर्फ गाड़ी की बात हो रही है इट्स जस्ट अ चॉइस हाँ गाड़ी वाला तो बहुत इजी आप आज से डिसाइड कर दो एंड यू विल नेवर गेट ट्रबल्ड बाय एनीथिंग दैट हैपेंस टू योर कार and this is just a practice. Gaadi ko takkar lagi, phone niche gir gya, screen crack ho gai. Reaction is normal. Save your energies. Don't let the nimbu drop for everything. At least keep it for the bigger situations in life. This is about it, whether the matka drops or the child falls down. This is the child. Phone ka screen crack ho gaya. Are phone ka screen kya? Phone hi toot jai. It's just a phone. Why am I wasting my energy in everything? That is when I don't have energy to solve the bigger crisis of my life because I've depleted it in all these insignificant scenes of the day. So let's at least finish the insignificant scenes which we can't even call a scene. Always remember, I have to hold on to that child. Yaha. Isko bachana hai. गाड़ी को टक्कर लगी तो भी इस शरीर को कुछ हो गया तो भी तो भी We are going through times where everything is perfect and tomorrow you come to know your body has some major ailment But even when you come to know that your body has some very chronic major thing the first thing to be taken care of is the first thing to be taken care of is who's going to do the healing here, bachche ko pakdo. Pahle bachche ko pakdo. Which means in every situation, first priority, take care of your mind. Immediately say, I am a powerful soul. Jab tak a meditation seeker, just say, I am a powerful soul. I am stable. I am fine. I am healthy. First, isko pakdo, body will respond better. Body, everything remembers sankalp se srishti hai. Sanskar se sansar hai. Priority self pe rakho and then go into the doing. And that is when the vibration will keep. We don't need crisis to deplete our power. We are depleting our power for nothing. For nothing. 
सो वी हैव टू टेक केयर इन दिस वेरी इनसिग्निफिकेंट सीन सो ये तीन दिन में कुछ भी हो सकता है हो सकता है सिर्फ हमें क्या ध्यान रखना है प्रायोरिटी ग्लास रिमेन्स फुल इमिजिएटली गिव द राइट थॉट टू द सिचुएशन इमिजिएटली गिव अ ब्लेसिंग टू द अदर पर्सन सपोज यूर शेयरिंग योर रूम विथ समबडी ऑल सर्ट्स ऑफ थिंग्स कैन हैपन द अदर पर्सन कैन स्नोर द एंटायर नाइट एंड वॉन्ट लेट यू स्लीप अब क्या करेंगे आप अब क्या करेंगे क्या भेजेंगे उनको क्या भेजेंगे उनको हाँ जी तथास्तु ओ हो किसी के रूम में हो तो नहीं रहा ऐसा कुछ होगा ही होगा इतने सब रूम में सोएंगे कहीं ना कहीं तो होगा ही होगा हाँ गिव लॉट्स ऑफ ब्लेसिंग्स एंड वेन यू गिव ब्लेसिंग्स योर माइंड विल बिकम साइलेंट एंड वेन योर माइंड विल बिकम साइलेंट यू विल फॉलो ऑफ टू स्लीप बट इफ यू कीप क्रिएटिंग इरीटेटेड then the mind will not sleep at all and when you wake up in the morning you will not say main apne ko sone nahi diya kyunki usne mujhe sone nahi diya that's the vocabulary of dependency it is always because of somebody else it's never silence your mind and you will experience deep sleep in all chaos and noise that's the power of the mind chali ek minute silence mein baithenge so our homework for 3 days in everything take care glass is getting full vibration is shifting up up think of anything that you have left behind at home relationship work change your thought for them change your thought for them it could be for a situation it could be for a sanskar of a person like you have chosen your one sanskar to replace your weakness do the same for them do the same for them replace their weakness with one of these seven i am the creator of my thought so i can change the way i think about them i change the way i think about the problem i've left behind shift only change the thought do it right now whether it's a thought about physical health whether it's thought about people about work any thought any low vibrational thought needs to be changed clean the stain change the thought shift your vibration my thought is independent of the situation i am a powerful being i create the highest vibrational thought for every scene of my life I am independent of the scene. I am the creator of my thought about the scene. And as I shift my thought it heals my mind it heals my body my vibration radiates to them it has started strengthening them
I am, the master of my mind. And I am the master of my life. I create. A little experiment. We walk in this same silence up to the dining hall till we reach the dining hall, which is just a two minutes walk. We will remain in this silence and spend these three minutes with ourselves and check which thoughts I need to change about anything specific happening in my life. It could be a project, it could be a colleague, it could be an issue, it could be a health issue, it could be anything. Change your thought because the power lies there. Sankalp badliye, srishti badal jayegi. So use the next three minutes as you walk up to the dining hall. Checking, changing, checking, changing, checking, changing. Bilkul silence mein, satyogi souls. I am a satyogi soul. That's our highest vibration. I am a pure divine satyogi soul. Uthte chahi. Any announcement? One second. Four o'clock, four fifteen. Please come back here um, by 4 o'clock. Your schedule says 4.15, but please come back here by 4 o'clock. And thank you with one hand. You can just say promise to Shivani Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In silence up to the dining hall. 